Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time. Today I want to show you something very special. It's all about DJI's ground station flying with waypoints. This is what I want to show you today. Uh, you just simply tap on the map and the copter flies on its own. Uh, but there are some limits and there are some difficulties. And if actually difficulties appear in the air, how can you regain the full control of the copter yourself? All the details in fact and how to use this awesome software. Uh, I'm going to show this to you right now. Stay tuned and I'm going to go back inside. The very first thing you gotta do is you gotta download the DJI Vision app. It's available in the uh, Apple App Store or in the Google Play Store for Android devices. And all what I'm showing you now is available and uh, works with both and Apple and Android devices. So uh, download the app, it's free. Um, I mean, if you if you have the feeling that you gotta pay a dollar to somebody, you can. <laughs> Donate it to tomtechdown.com slash donate. Um, that would really be awesome and would help me getting new copters here to check them out for you. But now let's continue my work. First off, we click settings. And we go into the Wi-Fi submenu and choose the Phantom. Of course, you gotta turn on the Phantom and the RC and the Wi-Fi range extender. And now we connect to the Phantom. We're going back to the main menu and open up the DJI app. Uh, up here we see um, that the that our phone is connected to the Phantom. Actually, it always shows us uh, the name of the network that it's connected to, so it could show us our home network name as well up there. So the very first thing is you click at settings and scroll down till you reach flight controller and gimbal and the submenu ground station and you see that it's not activated. So we are going to click that and activate it and now DJI tells us, so if you are hurting, I don't know, if you're flying against a wall or against Mr. Obama's hat or against Chancellor Merkel's legs, very attractive legs, <laughs> by the way, um, you gotta pay the bills yourself and we say yes, we wanna pay those bills and um, now it says uh, blah blah, some tips and hints and now one more hint that is pretty useful and that says make sure maps have been downloaded before ground station flying. We say okay and I'm gonna show you what that means in a second. We click camera to open up the live view and I'm gonna tell you the picture is gonna be pretty dark because it's night and I want to show you the lights better. So we swipe to the left and open up the maps with that now we are getting located and everything seems to be cool. So uh, at the upper right hand side we see that uh, the copter is connected to seven satellites which is just enough because we need at least six satellites to fly. Uh, if you're having less it won't work. But we see there's one issue we don't see a map. So and I'm going to show you how to get that fixed. Actually if you're having a phone um, with mobile internet that is not an issue for you guys. Um, if you don't, that is an issue for you. You before uh, gotta choose another network. Right now you can do that. You go to settings and choose your, I don't know, your home uh, network or wherever you are and connect to that Wi-Fi. You go back to the DJI Vision app and now you see that it downloads uh, all that stuff. Oh, now the phantom connection is broken. We don't care. We just want to load the map. We want to fly here, so I'm going to zoom in. So now the map is fine. We're going back to settings. I'm going to reconnect to the copter, Phantom again. And now that we are connected to the Phantom again, we are again going to uh, open up the DJI Vision app. So now uh, the map is back there. And now let's just take a look at the map. So if we zoom out, we will see uh, this little, uh, it's not that good to see, there is this green circle and that shows us um, the circle that we can operate within. So uh, within that circle we could fly the copter over here or over here. Let's just delete that. Let's first off talk about uh, the limits of uh, this waypoint flying, the ground station. So for the first limit let's just zoom in a bit and let's say we want to create a very 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 huge flight and um, simply by tapping on the map and we see that we can only have I mean only yeah it's not only we can have up to 15 waypoints if we want to create another one it's gonna say no waypoints remaining oh my gosh and we say okay we don't care we're going to delete that delete all waypoints okay 
So the next limit is that we can only fly for five kilometers maximum. So we're going to create a huge flight now. And um, bam, you see that the number just has turned red. And that means we can't fly that far. So we're going to delete that again. And last but not least, there is another limit and that is the height. We can set a height of maximum of 200 meters, but I think that's fine for most of us. So let's just now go for uh, a short demonstration. You should still watch the clip because there are some more st things appearing that you should know about. So let's tap uh, and create a short flight. Uh, we are having three waypoints and the home point where the airplane uh, is over currently and actually it's easy uh, We could say done and go But we don't want to because there could be a tree or a house or somebody that is super super tall your grand grandmother Haha, -ha. <laughs> very very cheap joke. She could be a grandmother a tall mother uh, with a height of 100 meters and we want to get um, I don't know around her and now we got to set the height manually by clicking at these uh, at the waypoints and uh, Now we can decide 67 meters for the first one 60 meters for the third one and Maximum of 200 we are not going to choose that too much wind out there now and uh, I don't know 85 meters for the third one And now many people have asked me Tom. I just typed in different numbers Why is it saying 51.6 or 32.5 or 41.6 meters here? That is the distance between the single waypoints and not the height uh, the entire the total uh, distance is written up here, which is uh, 185 meters currently, so that is all fine. The next thing we got to choose is the speed that our copter is going to move with. We can do that up here. We can choose between slow, mid and fast and for the demonstration purpose I'm going to choose fast. So guys, we have set the course, we have set the heights that we want to fly with and we click done. Now we see the heights again, 67 meters, 60 meters, 85 meters and 85 meters for the home point as well. Um, it's gonna stay there and um, we press go and now the copter is going to lift up after a few seconds Oh, there it goes It's gonna stop at I don't know 10 meters or so uh, for a couple of seconds and um, Now it's gone There it goes. So um, now you can see the airplane moving towards the first point and um, if it reaches that it's gonna stay there for a few seconds and it's gonna turn around and go for the second one and Because this is a very very short flight I'm gonna press pause and you can always pause your uh, Your waypoint flying which is pretty cool. Let it, let it just start. I'm gonna demonstrate that to you We're gonna click pause and you can see it's slowing down and now it's standing there and just waiting for us to press play again and um, Yeah, now we're going to press play again and right underneath that play pause button we see um, another button that's the return to home button that is very useful if we uh, don't see the copter anymore and want to drag it back or something like that we could press it and could say go home okay and it would come right at us again and um, we're not gonna press that now we're gonna let the copter finish its job and now it is going towards the last one If you want to regain the control of your copter, it is super simple. Uh, you simply take the S1 handle and once pull, uh, put it down and back up and the copter stops for one second only and you regain the full control of your copter. It is really easy. And now we see that the copter is back at the home point and it's gonna say mission complete. And um, right now there's one thing that I would recommend you guys um, for it's actually you should land the copter yourself drag it on yourself I had it sometimes when the copter was landing itself that it landed I don't know 10 to 15 meters out of um, Away from the actual home point and there could be water or a car or somebody walking So I would always recommend you landing it yourself at that point So it is easy and it's easy as that Again, if you want to land it now as one handle once down back up and you regain the full control of the copter It is freaking easy. Thanks for watching this video It would be super nice if you would subscribe and uh, maybe you should check out tomstechtime.com Slash donate and leave a small donation so I can get new copters here and check them out for you um, You can even leave an episode suggestion read the blog or stuff like that and you will find all my videos there and um, Guys check them out. Stay tuned. Watch another video of mine. Bye. Bye. This was Tom from TDT Tom's Tech time. I wanted to say, and I'm not going to tell you what I wanted to say.
was dirty. <laughs> dirty thoughts in the night. <laughs>